guys, this is a video from A11021085 about how to make good use of your USB flash drive. So uh, if I go to my computer right here, and uh, if you notice it says portableapps.com slash F, which is my uh, flash drive and or F drive. If I double click on that, as you can see, I still have all my files like I normally would. Like uh, I got my CD images file right here and I still got my ISOs and if you notice down here at the bottom it has one that says start portable apps if I click on that it'll bring up this little start menu like thing which will let me launch portable applications like they were on my computer but they're running off of my flash drive and I'm doing and I'm doing that so I can take my applications with me on the go so if I was like take my Firefox with me I could take it with all my settings on the go and just plug it into some other computer like uh, if you had like some computer that banned some kind of application and you just uh, take in your flash drive and use it there so uh, I found it from this, this website right here portableapps.com and uh, if you see down here they've got a pretty good They've got a pretty good page right here. If you go to this link right here that says download now, then you can go ahead and download it. Now, uh, let's go over here up to the top bar and click on applications. Now, if you see, they actually got a, quite a lot of categories of applications here. They have accessibility, development, education, games, graphics and pictures, internet, music and videos, office, operating systems, and utilities. So, with accessibility, you have Firefox Accessibility Manager, on-screen keyboard, and virtual magnifying glass. In development, you have Notepad++ Portable, uh, NVU Portable, uh, PortableApps.com Installer, and XAMPP. In education, you have BP Bible Portable, Cassilia Portable, Sterlium. These are all the games. I'm not going to go through them. Uh, graphics and pictures have, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, and GIMP. Under internet, you have uh, MSN Messenger, Download Them All, FileZilla, Fire FTP, Miranda, Firefox, Thunderbird, NVU, Pigeon, and the rest of these. Under music and video, you have Audacity, Bonk, Cool Player, DVD, Styler, M Player, Virtual Dub, and VLC. Under office, you have all of these. Uh, I picked OpenOffice.org because it's the best. Operating systems, all you have is Mac on a stick, which lets you run a classical version of Apple on your flash drive, and these are all of the utilities, but I won't go through them. But uh, as you can see, they've actually got quite a bunch of portable applications that you can take with you. So uh, let's go and view mine. Uh, I have Firefox, Thunderbird, OpenOffice, and Pigeon. Uh, so I got my internet, my email my instant messenger and my office so uh, these are all running off my flash drive so uh, let's see what happens when I load up open office just let me minimize all these and uh, I'm gonna open off openoffice.org writer now let's wait for it to load and here we go openoffice.org 3 writer the portable version and it's loading up Now it takes a little while, it takes a little longer to load because it's off flash drive, but uh, here we go, it's loaded up. This is openoffice.org. It is actually an equivalent to Microsoft Office, and it's free. You can run it on your computer normally, but this is the portable version of it. So if I type in something like uh, all these, it's just a normal word processor that you can take with you. Like if you're going somewhere and your uh, person's computer that you want to type something on doesn't have anything better than Notepad, then uh, openoffice.org portable is like the way to go. So uh, that's portable apps. I'm going to discard that. You can run all these portable apps off of your flash drive, and they come up to a little start menu like this, but uh, it lets you keep all the files on your flash drive too. It only uses up like 52 megabytes, I think. Uh, right here it says uh, I've used 5.3 gigabytes out of uh, 7.6 gigabytes, but that's because I got an 8 gig flash drive. But uh, I think it only needs like uh, 500 something megabytes to to run, so uh, it's pretty portable. You can take it with you, and uh, you don't need to have a separate flash drive for this. You can just put all your files on it if it's a big enough drive. 
Regular really mines, eight gigs, so uh, that's big enough. So, uh, portable apps, you can get it from this website, portableapps.com. I'll put that in the description. So, uh, thanks again for watching. This has been a video from A11021085, and uh, I'll see you later.